Welcome to I Love Stocks. Today I want to talk about NIO, N-I-O. Uh, they've been consolidating for a couple weeks now, and there's a reason that I think we're getting ready to have us another breakout, and it was just in the news. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that up. Uh, NIO, everybody knows about NIO. It's in the EV car business in China, and it's probably one of the top leaders in China besides Tesla. And they are having a deal made with Sinopec. Sinopec is the second largest oil refinery gas stations in the world. And they own, I think, over 30,000 stations in China alone. So we're going to go ahead and go right straight to the news article that I saw. And Neil's been talking with Sinopec. It's gas stations. So... They have over 30,000 gas stations across China. Now, this would be a great for swapping out these batteries with Neil. And if they make a real good deal, we could see them growing at least 10,000 of these stations, which is probably some of the best news that I've heard from Neil in over a year. So, because they're getting into green energy too, Sinopec is. And this is just another catalyst. And they'll be making money on the deal if they do make a deal with Nile and these battery swap stations. So putting them next to the gas stations is a big, good idea. And it will really, really bring the next catalyst for Neil to go ahead and jump to that $70 target that we have. And maybe to 80 and then long up to 100 So let's go ahead and look straight into the chart. I think this is excellent news. And this could be the next catalyst to bring the stock up itself. So... I kind of had a little support that I drew back here last week when I talked about Neil. I said this is a pretty good little spot for it to stay in. And it's the resistance that it needed to break. Well, that next day, on Tuesday, it went ahead and broke out of that resistance line. And then we ran up here to a double top right up in here right around 64.32. Let me turn this into my dollar sign. So I think this is the next catalyst. Plus, we've had a good three-day pullback right back into that channel, which is telling me we hit that 200 EMA on the 20-day, one-hour chart, which found support. So the first support channel is going to be this 59.32 and this 60.13. I think I'll get into this trade before everybody else starts to get in it to run it back up to resistance levels and try to break this 62.84 area and then maybe double top triple top up here and have a triple top breakout if not i'll go ahead and take my money on the option and let's go ahead and look at the option itself what i'll probably be looking at so let's go out march 19 and that 70 dollar strike would probably be the one that i'd be looking at maybe even get in here if we can get a pullback and get in cheaper here at the $60 strike. That would probably be a better, little bit better money maker. Plus the delta on it is about 56 which I like better than that 37 on the $7 strike. Now if it starts to build up, I might go ahead and jump into that 70 But for right now, I'm looking at the $60 strike, and it's at 715 right now. If I can get a little pullback on it and get in there around $650, that will be ideal. And that's going to be... And I use the Tastyworks platform. So, yeah, I'd like to see it hold this 200. If not, we could fall back to this other tier of support that I have, which is a very strong buy at 56.90 to 57.64. And that's where I have one of my alerts set up. And I'm also going to set another alert right in here at this 200. And I'll do that right now. At the ask and a little bit below. And I'll go ahead and create that alert too. So I got two alerts set, one for 59.30. And I'm going to raise this up just a little bit. Because I'm going to try to beat, beat it to the thing here. So I'll set that at 59.47 and 59.64. As you see, and I've learned this a little bit. I've learned it through previous experience, but Trend Spider platform, they have a little field right here. And you can kind of... Hit, it's an alert system that it will get you to that spot if, just in case it does not pull back to that support level. And that's a real strong support level. That's the pivot point on the 20-day chart here at 59.32. So if that holds, that's going to be strong. And then I'll retrace it back up, like I said, up here to around 62.84. 
And then if I can break that 6284 to get to 6432, we'll have the triple top breakout and we'll take it to 70 bucks. But I think it's ready. I think it's consolidated quite a while now. One thing that I do like is the higher lows that we have set up here. And that is to me is more or less going to be a flag breakout on the pullback. And that's called an inverse. And I'll show you exactly what I'm looking at here. And then we'll get on the bottom of this candle right here and hit this. Extend on and up to the right and see where that takes us. And it takes us a little bit below it, but I'm okay with that. If we do get down to 58, I'll double up and add a few more contracts to the deal. As you can see, let's go ahead and take that off and go up here. And I'll extend this to the right. Bam. So we got a nice little flag right here. Any kind of pullback is going to be a strong buy. If we get down here to 58.79, I'm all in. And that's going to be Nile. I hope you enjoyed this. Please hit that subscribe and like button. I really do appreciate it. I'm bullish on Neil into next week and into probably the rest of the year. I think we will hit that $70 mark and then that $80. Also, Miss Vegas. She's uh, the uh, money flow queen. She'll be watching, posting alerts in here at all the times. So it wouldn't be uh, harmful for you to hit that follow button. And also on our website, we do have our stock twits links. And you can hit that. Follow us on our stock twits. If you do have a stock twits account, Miss Vegas is right here. And always be sure to subscribe. Ring that bell. You get future updates on our YouTube channel, and we'd really appreciate that. That little subscribe button, and bing, kick that bell open, and we'll see you Monday morning. I hope you all are keeping warm. Here in Missouri, the temperature is a minus 25 degrees, and they're talking about rolling out blackouts to conserve energy. I have my thermostat set at 58, so I've been doing it anyway. I'm just kind of snuggled up in warm wear, as you can see. <laughs> I got my, my robe on. So everybody have a good day. We'll see you tomorrow. I love stocks.